A group of women and men including government officials marched through the Evelyn Street of Greenwell Matongo in the capital calling for an end to gender-based violence. International Women's Day, which is commemorated on the 8th of March each year, is used to reflect on the progress made by women, call for change, and celebrate acts of courage and determination by ordinary women. The day was celebrated under the theme Zero Gender-Based Violence towards 50-50 Gender Equality, with the aim of urging everyone to help accelerate gender parity. So how did the women themselves see the issue of gender parity? We can look at, you know, the gender disparities between men and women, but I think there's also a lot that needs to be done within women themselves. Gender-based violence still continues to be a major problem. 33% of all married women aged between 15 to 49 have experienced physical, sexual or emotional violence through their spouses. 28% of women and 22% of men aged between 15 to 49 see beating as the only way for a husband to discipline his wife. Despite the government's consistent campaigns to end gender-based violence, this is in fact increasing. But contrary to the general perception, women are not the only victims of gender-based violence. Isaskar Gavasep has been a victim of gender-based violence for almost nine years. People think men are not victims but they are also the victims in this case. And sometimes you are shy and you don't want to rise up your case and this will create a problem for you. Salomo Tenga, NBC News, Venduk.